In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the fuel pump assembly on this Volkswagen Beetle. This is located under the back seat. Let's get into it. In the back seat, you want to grab under the front of it, lift it up. There is a little pull handle right there. And then you're going to rock it forward a little and tip it up. Lift up the carpet right there. You can see where the access is. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, we're going to take these three screws out. And just grab the cover and slide it off. Disconnect the connector right here. There's a little tab you want to pull up on. And it slides right out. Just pull that up out of the way. We're going to disconnect the lines. You can use a small pair of pliers and you want to push on the lock right on the front. And then I just don't want this to splash, so I'm just going to put a rag over. So just be careful. You might want safety glasses. Slide that up out of the way. And then we'll do the same on the other one. Just squeeze. There might be a little bit of pressure. That up, not too bad. Slide these to the side. Now I'm going to use this fuel pump lockering tool. You just want to line this up. I'll just snug these down. The screwdriver, Phillips head. And then this is how I can loosen up the lock ring. Just go slow. Take the ring off. You can grab the pump, just wiggle it up a little. Just let it drain a little. And you just slide this out. And I just, just have a drain bucket. And I can pull it right out without spilling any. Now you want to remove the seal from the fuel pump, just slide it down work it off the fuel pump assembly, and take it over the level sensor. Take the fuel pump seal, you want to slide it over the level sensor. Just very carefully work it around. And just slide it up. Now slide the level sensor in first and slide it down. And sometimes it's easier to take the seal, put the seal in position first. Where it's supposed to go, right there. And slide the pump down. And you want to line this up the same way it came out. Push that down. Take the lock ring. And slide it over. Just get that lock ring started and use the tool. Just make sure you snug that down. That's 
good. Take the lines. Press that on and press the other one on. Lock it down, take the connector and line it up. Now I take the cover, line that up. Put the screws in. And snug those down. And fold the carpet back. And take the seat and slide it back in place. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.